Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, it is Friday, 3rd of June, and it is 20 minutes to 1 a.m. Yeah, I think this is the latest I've ever recorded a video. But, you know, uh, sorry, the video cu cut short of that 10 minutes. Um, I just had to come back. Because in that time that the video cut short, I just, you know, the felt the love of the Lord and um i'm sorry that my eyes are so red i've just i just felt the, the presence of the lord now and um i just shed a few te tears tears of joy that is with me man and i want you to also go into the presence of the lord with this video because you know the lord can do great and mighty things in our lives and you know i'm fighting back the tears right now tears of joy because this coming weekend, he's, 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 he's showing me the love he has for his people, man. And he's, I, I'm so excited for what he's going to do. I am, I'm welling up with the love of God inside of me right now. I've, I'm actually quite vulnerable and showing to the world this, this side of me. This is something that that I, I, I hold personal to me and I keep it. And this this feast of Shavuot, the day of the feast of Pentecost, 3,000 years ago, more than 3,000 souls in verse, in Acts 2 verse 41, 3,000 souls gave their lives to the Lord, gave their hearts to the Lord. I just want to read to you, I'm not going to read the entire verse, um, chapter, but I want to say, uh, verse 33, therefore being, being by the right hand of God exalted, right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith, it, saith himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit down, my right hand. Verse forty-one. Then they had, then they, then they that gladly received his word were baptized, three thousand souls. And the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. Three thousand souls. Three thousand years ago, Exodus nineteen. The Lord is very on purpose with numbers. And, you know, to, to make this, I mean, we, I know these verses. I know these, I've heard these verses. I've heard, but I've never made the connection that this is the day. This is this, this is this weekend. The coming weekend now is this weekend. Acts 2 and Exodus 19, where it all started. And in both, the uh, like a rushing mighty wind, the Holy Spirit came down into that room in Acts 2 on the day of Pentecost. Just like the, the, um, in, Exodus, in Exodus 19, the Lord came down like a mighty, mighty um, um, a cloud of smoke and a pillar of smoke. And they were not allowed to touch the mountain. And they were not allowed to touch their wives. They had to be holy. Wow. Wow, our God is great, man. Our God is great. And He's going to, He hasn't forgotten about, I know if you're feeling despondent, if you're feeling like your joy is withered away, if you're feeling like this pandemic is just draining you, if you feel like you're just about to lose hope, this is your message that you've been waiting for. <laughs> he hasn't forgotten about us. That's why I feel you're not alone. You're not alone. You are not alone. There are so many brothers and sisters. I can see people. I, I just saw a video of people resigning. Uh, it's hit our shows. I didn't know it was a thing. Because I don't watch the news. But it says eh, that our, we've got people resigning from, from their jobs. It's because they be, they become um, weir, weary and tired. Because they know something is coming, it's in their spirit. Even though they're not connected to God, they're not connected, they disconnected from the Lord due to their hardened hearts, they know something is coming. 
and I do believe the Lord told me eight months ago about this coming weekend. I wasn't looking forward to it. I just know about it. But when I read, when he got me out of bed now and he told me, get up and go record, I said, can't just wait till the morning. And now I understand why. I understand now why the Lord want, wanted me to deliver this message. Because he wants to speak to his people. He wants to get this message out. Don't. Don't. If you're feeling weary, the word will strengthen you. Because I also feel, I, I am feeling weary. But the word, as soon as I opened this and I went to the word, I felt rejuvenated again. And then I haven't felt the heart of God for such a long time. Not such a long time, but just I haven't felt that connection like it just felt now, like I'm feeling now. That he hasn't forgotten about us. He's here for us. Brothers and sisters, just give thanks, man. Just give thanks to God for what you have in your life. He got us through like he got, like it says he, he got the is, is this is a reminder. He got the Israelites through from out of captivity, out of bondage. He carried them. They didn't believe him, he's the promised children, but they came from that place. And the murmuring and blaming Moses for getting them out of their comfort zone because that's all they knew. They didn't know that they were in, it's kind of like they didn't know they were in slavery. And then he got, the Lord brought, sent Moses and he brought them out. And, and they came in solidarity and they started seeing, there's this loving God. He rained down manna from heaven, coils rain from heaven. He parted the Red Sea, they went over dry shod. They fought Amalek. The Lord showed them that this year is alive. And I want you to take, the, in this message, I want you to take this home with you. For whatever you are coming up against in your workplace, God fights for us. You don't have to avenge your own or do your own vengeance or make your own vengeance. The Lord can do this for you. And he does it better than you. Just let him have control over your life. Don't you take it. Don't you take control. Because that is the flesh. You might just trip up. He will do it a hundred times better when you relinquish and you give your heart to him. And you, 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 you um, repent. Repent, repent. Because we are going through this period, the season. We are going through a sift. We are being sifted like wheat. And those that stay in that sift, those are the ones that endure the hardship. Because if you are not coming up against the devil, then you are headed in the same direction. Don't feel despondent when you hit, when you know you are running to the devil. It means that you are in the right direction. And you want the devil. If you're not encountering the devil, it means you're running alongside him in the same direction. He wants you to turn, trip you up and turn you around. That's why you encounter him. Each and every day when you feel that you've hit or you, you, you're criticizing yourself, what did I do wrong? No, you did nothing wrong. It means that you are headed in the right direction with the Lord. And you are encountering the devil. That means the devil wants you to turn around and head his direction with him. He wants to stop you from, from heading in the direction of God. And he can only come through with lies, deceit and deception. Brothers and sisters, I want you to enjoy and have a blessed, blessed weekend. The, the Sabbath, Sabbath, the Shabbat, into the Sunday, into your Monday.